four finger hold over here, an all finger grip. We learned to grab hair like this, but I found that it wasn't good because it's not a finger technique which you grab part of his hand. So I grabbed the hands this way, but when you do this, do this against a really strong person, it doesn't work. So I found out by cutting down the guy's strength and getting more strength, I went on a three finger hold. It worked good, so I figured that two fingers better, and it worked better. Then one finger is the weakest of all. You can control big people. But the trouble is, you get a person here, you can squirm all over the place, you can't control him, see? So it's really difficult. So what I did, I, I controlled him by creating a rectangular base on two fingers, and I had better control. These principles are very important because it works on every technique you have. Any, any locking technique, you have to create a fulcrum and a base. And also the, the lever comes in play, points in the head, this is called a fulcrum area, and this is the lever. And when you apply, be sure the fulcrum and the lever goes together at the same time. You get it taut, and it works right away. And you can control a big person. So if he points at you and his palm faces this way, don't bring him down, bring him down. Down is the weakest position. So this exercise teaches you how to bring the fulcrum back to yourself. The motion is this way all the time, see. Bring focal, and the lever doesn't go that way. The lever goes in a circle too. This is the orbit right here. I'll control. So, the fingertip exercise right here. You watch, slow motion. Once the thumb goes down, lock it with your fulcrum here. Down to the mat, it's helpless. Now, to create pain, push down. The fulcrum as far as you can and roll it back into you. He's in pain right now. You can't fight from this position. You're very helpless. So you can readily see that he can't do anything. And the pain is so intense that he can't fight. If you face palm down, he'll go down. Face palm up, he comes up. You see, remember how much control you have? Move the person any way you want to. This must be done so that you can learn how to move from one direction. He moves that way, I can bring him back. No matter what he does, you have control of him. And be sure, don't extend your arms out this way. Then you have big movements. All big movements are because the arms are free. But if you're close to your body, elbow, you always control him. Now you need a lot of wrist movement. So you see, notice the, the little wrist movement he do, very small. Don't make it big, because you can escape. You, once you do this way, you can pull his finger off, but create the curve. See the curve right here? You move in place you want to. Down, up. I don't even have to look at him. Hold. You can control him by using your chest is a base. You have one hand free. You can move in limited space, in crowds. You can search him. When you do search him, raise him up to his toes so he'll be helpless. You raise his center of gravity, he, he loses power. Now, I can move any place I want to, but just lock him here. You see how mobile he gets. I can use, I use my chest as the base, and as I push my chest, he'll go forward. If I push the fingers this way, he'll go back there. You can move any place you want to. And the most important thing, I have one hand free. I can always use it. Here's how it works right here. Eliminate play. You don't want this play. You want to push it in, no play. This way. So you can use your shoulder to take the play away. Lock this over here, and the only thing you gotta do is. He tries to hit you. The person points his finger at you, grab his index finger. Downward. You move him toward the wall this way. You can slam him against the wall you want to. Now, in order to search him, you have to raise him so that he's so he grabs it behind, and he's, he can't punch him, see? He's helpless right now. And here's where the art is done, really. 
place your fulcrum right here, it's a little finger against, a, against his index finger, and dig it in. And just, ah! And grab your hand, drive your knuckles between the grooves here, and then catch it right here between the two fingers. Right here. One more time. Now you move the person around. You can stand right next to him. I know he, in the beginning it's very inconvenient, you, you feel awkward, but see how easy it works. I just drive the fulcrum down and lever up. <laughs> Complete control. So the person pushes you, trap all his fingers with the blade of your hand over here, and bend straight down. Okay. Trap all the fingers and bend down. But don't trap the hand, it gives him strength. Just the fingers, this way. And don't go down, squatting down, always lean forward towards the guy. He's pushing me, I trap his hand and I lift his arm up and I lock it. I lock my hand against my chest. You're doing a wrist lock and the person resists you. You create a fulcrum with your index finger right here and turn it sideways. So the circle is this way now. See, watch. <coughs> He's under control. I can move him any place. And I can probably have to go into transitions. And the secret is this move, but I'll do it slowly. You can cause a dislocation by doing it suddenly. Move this way, see, and I can do it in the transitions. One of my students was attacked once. She had only a first lesson. The guy grabbed her, and first thing she did, she struggled. After that, she said, I realized, Professor, she said, don't try to match strength a man. Grab an available finger, pull in your body, and bend it back. <laughs> my body is a base right now. I just turn around, turn down. From this position. When a person grabs you really tight over here, you're gonna, he's trying to lift you, you'll get a hard time. So always think down, you get, you get heavy, see? I think down, I'll get heavier. First thing I'll do, I'll drive my knuckles right into the grooves here. Okay. Now watch, I lock it here and I got my control. Lock to my body, I turn around, and down. The best position of, okay, to flatten him out, you can't fight. Two finger transitional flows. Person attacks you, distract him, bring down the ground. This is a two finger transition flow, ready? Right? Start here. Produce pain by rotating your finger here, rotating the fulcrum. Now from where you can all the control is here. Oh, oh, oh. 